All right, so here today I have a box and I will be doing an unboxing. An unboxing of my Catamount Fury 1 shotgun. So here it is. Uh, I know um, I know there's uh, quite a few people um, that have done a similar video on YouTube, but um, this is this is my video and this is how I got it. It looks totally different than what everybody else gets. But anyway, um, here it is. Let's open it. I haven't uh, I haven't unpacked it yet. I've taken it out, but there it is. Comes in a foam. It's also, it's a qu quite a plain box. There is no uh, no markings on the box at all. You you would not know that there's a shotgun in here, right? It could be a you know a keyboard for all we know. <laughs> but there it is. Even the even my Psycho box had some kind of Russian writing on it you know so it just comes in a nice little foam padded box and there it is so let's go flip it around so i mean there it is i got this at tracy rifle and pistol in tracy california come on there we go and it cost me six hundred fifty one dollars out the door out the door that's what the california sales tax and the and the dross and all that good stuff and uh yeah well there's the serial number <laughs> um so um so there it is so it basically it's a it's a chinese uh version of the saiga 12 almost almost and and as of this video um because of uh the um it's kind of like an embargo or something the uh, saiga we can't import saiga rifles into the united states anymore so the the only uh the only option to buy a brand new one is to buy one of these guys i think oh now they're yeah, I th I, the Vepper is Russian too, so I don't think you can get a Vepper anymore either. So the prices have gone up, just skyrocketed on Saigus. And just before Saigus used to be a great deal. So, this is a Chi this one is made in China. Made in China, I believe. At least I think it is. Let's see. Let's take a look at it. So there it is. Here we go. Come on, focus. So it's made in Zhejiang, Zhejiang Machinery Company in China, and and don't you love how like uh when they stamped it, it's a, it's a little bit crooked, right? <laughs> I'd say maybe that's a good like fifteen degrees off. Anyway, but yeah, there it is. It's a it's a it's a sporter shotgun because it has like a sporter stock, but uh because we're in stupid ass California. Um, magazine fed shotguns have to have this magazine lock. It's, it's stupid. Hate it. I don't understand why you can get a, why you would need, um, why like rifles don't need it if you buy a sporter, but, uh, a shotguns you do. So yeah. But, um, so there it is, $651 in the after a 10 day waiting period, here it is. So, let's see what it comes with. We got a shotgun. Actually. Got a shotgun. And also notice um the finish has already got scratches on it. Uh this was the only one they had at the time I was there. So, uh Fortunately, it's the only one I could grab and Tracy is I live in San Jose, so Tracy is quite a drive So I just took it There it is. There's a shotgun and Cha-ching! It comes with five magazines. I don't know. I don't know what gun you can buy that comes with five magazines I think these are only like ten dollars a pop like I've seen on the internet but this is the Catamount Fury 1 and one of the Actually, here. Okay. Look at the manual. I haven't really looked at this yet, but from what I gathered, is that Canamot Fury One looks like this. 
basically this guy right here. That's what that is. And a Catamon Fury 2 basically has um it has this uh Dragonov style stock and um and it has like a magwell. Like a longer magwell. It's designed where the magazines just come straight up, like kinda like an AR. This one you still have to rock back in. You have to rock it in like a like an AK. Which is um kinda gay. I kinda I kinda wanted the two. But I don't know. I don't see why we couldn't get one here, but um anyway, I have some plans for this later, but uh it's no big deal. The main reason I wanted it is uh I wanted a semi automatic shotgun. I, I have a I already have a Mossberg five ninety. So I said, hey, I want a, I want a pump shotgun, and why not have a have an AK based shot pump shotgun? What else does it come with? It's come with it with a choke. That's cool. Because I I do plan to take this uh, play shooting maybe. There's another one. Another. And this is this nifty little cleaning tool package that I've seen on the internet. that massive 12 gauge barrel and this only comes in 12 gauge as far as I know it only comes in 12 gauge I know the Saiga you could get it in 10 no not 10 20 and 410 that was that's what I'm talking about yeah so there it is and it comes with five magazines um I guess I will have to try each of them I heard that these are um they require some break-in um that's what some people have been complaining about from what they told me at the store um it, it'll unless i polish the the parts the internals to make them smoother um i might get some jams for a little bit so i may try to just polish it up as best i could and i don't think there's anything else in here uh, some other things interesting things on here nope nope that, that is it Alright, let me go put this shotgun on a stand real quick. Alright, here we are. Let's table back a little bit here. So there's just a little close-up look of it. It's your typical AK. Um, well, not typical, I guess. It's a, it's a sporterized one, so... Trigger is actually in the AK is right here, where the right behind where the the magazine is. Um, this one is moved back here, which uh, doesn't bug me. Um, there it is, catamount. Catamount. Come on. Kind of a cool logo. It's like a cat. The Fury, 12 gauge, two and three quarter and three inch lead shot only. Um, supposedly it has an um, adjustable gas system right here. So you see how the, I think uh, the Saiga has, just says a 1 and a 2. This one has a 1, a dot that signifies 1. And two dots here for 2. And the cool thing is it comes with a rail already built into the cover. And the cover doesn't come off. Check this out. Oh yeah, it even has a lock, a cover lock. I've never seen that on an AK before. But I don't really have all that much AK, so basically you gotta press down on this and then you push it in. And it should open, but it does not. I will, uh, I don't think I could do it with one hand. Let me see. Yes, it was uh, quite stiff, hard to get out. But uh, yeah, so it has a it has a kind of like a hinged cover. It doesn't come off like most AKs. Um, it's similar to uh, AKS 74U or the Krinkoff. It's similar, something similar to that. There is there's internals. There's that trigger. It has a very very strange trigger. I let's see. It's a little different. Let's pull the hammer back. Okay. 
Well, I guess it's not that bad a trigger. It has a, it has a nice wide, very wide trigger for AK. Which is not bad. Um, actually, the fin I'm looking at the finish right now, and it, it's not that bad. It's your typical... Probably the Saiga is probably a little better. All I'm just going to do is I'm just going to touch it up with some semi-gloss uh, engine paint. Just to get that off, I guess. Other than that, it looks like... Looks pretty nice, actually. There's a little butt pad back here. Let's put this back on. So the nice thing is it comes with a rail. I mean, it's probably not the best rail in the world. I mean, maybe crooked, too. I'm not sure. I'm <laughs> looking at it right now. I'm just standing at a weird angle. So uh, the way the sights work on this, I mean, obviously it's a shotgun. You don't really need fancy sights with it. There's a notch here, a V notch, and then there's a there's a sight post, front sight post here. It's an unprotected sight post. Um, but it looks pretty tough. Um, I'd imagine you could probably bust it up pretty good, but if you dropped it, but hey, it's not it's not a battle rifle. It's a sporting shotgun. <laughs> um, yeah. So this is um. This cost me $651. That's how much, uh, you know, you can get a Saiga for back in the days. Probably even less. So I think it's a good deal. And it comes with the five mags. So let's, so let's take a look at the mag. It's huge. There are five round mags, and you get five. So that's like 25 bucks. Uh, 25 rounds, but um, uh, I don't know where you can get the 10 rounders is the problem. They said there are 10 rounders, but they're very hard to find. Like, I think five is will be fine. I think. And it's got the mag lock, and of course there's no tool to undo the mag, mag lock. I'm going to have to make one somehow, or just carry around a screwdriver or something. So, I don't know, let's see how, uh... Yeah, it's a very meaty shotgun. Yeah, it, it seems like everything is really tight right now. Um, so, it's going to need some breaking in. So, basically, it's going to go in like this. There's a little grabber thing there. A bit way up in there. I'm never going to be able to get this back out without a tool either, so. <laughs> Where are we grabbing here? Probably in here. So, just, just like that, sir. There it is. It's in there. It does have a, a bolt hold back, um, open right there, just like a Saiga. So, um, maybe it'll lock back on the last shell maybe it won't <laughs> but that you can release it or lock it all right so there she is i hope to uh, have some fun with it oh uh, also um i was planning on doing a kushna pup conversion it's a basically it's a bullpup stock that you put the shotgun in and um I don't, oh, I think the only the modification you have to do is, yeah, you have to take, oh, wait, there is no, how do you get this off? <laughs> That's a good question. Oh, yeah, I think, uh, I think in there is a screw. But anyway, the stock will come out, and, um, I think there's a tang here for the, there's supposed to be a tang for, um, for, uh, the stock, uh, I mean, the, the rear trunnion. And that comes off, and you're supposed to cut it, and you can drop it in the cushion of pup stock. And the cushion of pup is a it's a bull pup stock, so it'll take your your long ass saiga, and it'll make it basically that short. And then you'll put the mags in the back. So, uh, and it's a reasonably price. It's another two hundred seventy five dollars <laughs> from what I hear. So my six hundred fifty one dollar shotgun will turn into a. Uh, 800 
almost $900 shotgun. But it'll be a bullpup shotgun. I'd imagine it'd be good for home defense. I I don't think this is going to be my home defense gun. Just because um, I heard these have a... The problem? Oh yeah, made in China. There it goes. See? Anyway. Um, I heard these have um, problems with deforming shells. That's what it is. So, um, so if the if the bolt is closed and you stick it up in there, the it'll the the shell actually presses against the bolt and it deforms it, and then uh, maybe it won't work when shit hits the fan, right? <laughs> but uh, anyway. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Um, you, this does have a bolt hold open, so if you did want to put it in the safe with rounds loaded, uh, well, not rounds loaded, but, um, like a loaded mag in the gun, you could do that. Or you can just keep it in your safe and have a couple of these loaded up, and then you're ready to party. I wonder if they have a, a mag pouch for this. I, I think you like it fits fits perfectly there. You could probably put one, maybe two on the other side. Oh, probably stick out a lot. Look kind of goofy. But yeah, um, yeah, I'll take it out and shoot it. Should be a ton of fun. Uh, I'll take it to the indoor range and pop a couple off. See what how the pattern is. Try these chokes out. Make a bunch of a mess at the shooting range. <laughs> Tag on it. But I think uh, I think I got a good deal. Um, if it shoots good, I heard some people have some issues with it, but um, I'm gonna try to polish it up a little inside somehow, maybe with like a pad or something, and then we'll go from there. Or maybe I'll just charge the charging handle a bunch of times. <laughs> All right. Oh, I like also like to add that there is a rail under the gas block. It's pretty cool. Uh, I've never seen that before. I'm not sure if you had some fancy AK. It probably has that, but uh, I'd imagine I don't think you would probably want to put a bipod on it. But <laughs> I don't know what shotguns use bi. Would you would want a bipod? But uh, you'd probably put um, a flashlight. Is what I'm thinking. We'll be going there. So if you want to go hunting with the flashlight, there you go.